In our health alert tonight, we all know exercise is important for our well-being, but do you have to do it all at once? New research may surprise you. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, live in the newsroom tonight. So sustained or sporadic, Doc? Is one workout better than the other? So Dave, surprisingly, a new study from Duke University is trying to get the record straight here. Researchers tracked the health of nearly 5,000 people for six years, and they found it didn't seem to matter whether exercise came in a number of short bursts of about five to ten minutes or longer bouts. The health benefits were similar, so really uh, pretty exciting stuff. So Dr. Nandy can climbing the stairs, taking short walks, or jogging even for a few minutes. Is that time still beneficial? Absolutely, Glenn. I've been advocating this for quite some time. And yes, small bouts of movement and exercise incorporated into your daily life can add up to big rewards. Many of us live busy lifestyles and can't find the time for long workout sessions. So it's great to know that getting in those short bursts of physical activities like climbing stairs, taking walks, count towards living longer. All right, so should your workout uh, intensity be slow and steady or reach a moderate or vigorous level? We often hear about getting that heart rate up, right? So yeah, Dave, it doesn't really seem to matter if the movement or activity is one minute or 30 minutes. What's key here is that it's moderate or vigorous in intensity. So that means you need to be moving at a pace that makes it hard for you to talk and have a conversation. So jogging would be considered vigorous activity for most people. And so th th that's an example. So do you really need to work out for 150 minutes a week in order to reduce your risk of death? I mean, that's over an hour and a half a day, Doc. Yeah, you know, the thing is that absolutely, the CDC recommends 150 minutes of moderate activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week in order to gain substantial health benefits. So, yes, you should still aim to get that total amount of movement in. In fact, the researchers found that 30 minutes every day will help to reduce the risk of an early death. And participants in the study who got 60 minutes throughout the day lowered their risk of death by 57%. That's a big number. While those who got less than 20 minutes of moderate or vigorous exercise per day were more likely to die prematurely. So it's really important to keep track of how much you exercise uh, and, and how much you're getting every day. You may want to consider a tracking device to keep tabs of how much activity you're actually getting throughout the day. And I'll be on Facebook Live at 545 to answer any questions about this topic as well. I may join you on Facebook Live to ask you a few more questions, Dr. Nandy. Of course. Yeah, and I'm guessing most of us don't get what we need most. Absolutely. So, yeah. All right, Doc, thank you so much. If you have a question or a health concern for Dr. Nandy, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We are going to be a little.